what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to a new video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make your first ever sale on Shopify by drop shipping using Facebook ads. Now it's a question I've been getting a lot or seeing people post about it, especially in the Facebook group that I run. Uh, make sure you check it out, it's the first link in the description. There's nearly 700 members now, which is just awesome. So you've probably seen it yourself, somebody posting a screenshot of their ad manager or a link to their website saying, I'm getting no sales, what's going wrong? So I thought, why not do a video where I can show you guys because it's not as simple as do this one thing or these two things and you'll be okay. So I thought, why not do a video where I'm gonna take you through the thought process and just show you everything that's involved that you must be doing correctly in order to make that first sale. So, as I said before then guys, there's no one simple answer to this. But then again, if it was simple, then everyone would be doing it. Uh, the truth is though that in order to get that first sale then there's loads of different things that you must be doing correctly however in order to make this video short and informative and straight to the point i've narrowed it down to the three main things that if you do correctly you'll be able to get your first sale so before we get into the points i just want to say you've got to do all three of these things together you can't do one and not the other two you might have heard people say uh, when they're trying to lose weight that they've got to train well they've got to eat well and get their rest and if they don't do all three then they won't see the results so they can train for three four five hours a day but then if they don't get the rest and recovery and they don't eat well they're not going to see the results and it's the same situation here if you don't do all three of these things together then you won't get that first sale so number one then is your product if you're not selling a product that people want or that people see a need for, no one's gonna buy it, you're not gonna get your first sale. Number two is your website. If you haven't got a clean, crisp, easy to navigate, trustworthy looking website, then no one's gonna trust you and none, you're not gonna get that first sale. And number three is your advertising. If you're not showing your ad to the right people in the right places, then again, you're not gonna get your first sale. Now. The reason you've got to do all three together is because, for example, let's say you've got a revolutionary product, it's the next best thing. However, if you haven't got a platform or a website to sell it on and you're not marketing it correctly, no one's going to see the product or know about the product so no one can buy it. And with your website, you could spend thousands on a designer, a programmer, building you the best website with the best funnels and automated sales sequences and upsells. But if you're not got good products and you're not driving the right traffic, then again, no one's gonna buy from you. So there are the three points. Now, how do you do them well? We'll go into each point one by one, just with some extra detail, so you guys can get a better idea of the things you've gotta be doing to get that first sale. Number one then, your product, and your product must do one of these three things. So, solve a problem, make a statement, or make someone's life easier. So solve a problem then. If someone's got a problem in their lives and you can show them or offer them a product or service that's gonna fix that problem, then immediately they're gonna be interested. Number two, make a statement. If your product is cool and they want to wear it because it will make them feel good or they think people who see them wearing it or using it will increase their perceived value, then that's gonna make them interested. And number three, make someone's life easier. We all like to make our lives easier, especially in today's time. Uh, it's the reason people get their shopping delivered um, or order takeout. It just makes their lives easier. So if you can, again, offer a product or service that's gonna make someone's life easier, then they're gonna be interested. Price range then. As I said at the beginning of the video, we're selling on Facebook and I like my products to be in that impulse buy range, which is 10 to 30 pounds. If you don't know what an impulse buy is, then it's basically a product that people see and if they want it, they buy it there and then. They don't go into the market or they don't do the research for the sake of a 10, 15, 20 pound product. They just wanna buy it there and then. They're not gonna go and do hours of research or talk to multiple people. They're just gonna see it, want it and buy it and that's an impulse buy. Delivery within four weeks max then. I've said before in previous videos that four weeks is the very upper limit. Always stick to ePacket, that's the fastest shipping method to the UK. And anything over four weeks avoid, but obviously the lower you can get that, the closer you can get it to two weeks or three weeks, then the better. And 
be safe and legal. Don't try and buy in and sell things that aren't safe or illegal. You'll get banned if not in trouble. And the last point then is a passion product. Try and pick a product that's within a niche that people are passionate about, that people get emotional about. So dogs then, dogs is a very passionate subject. People talk about their dogs like they're their family members. So a dog necklace for instance, or a dog collar is a good example of a passion product. Website then, next point. Point one, be clean, crisp and simple. If people go onto your website and it's an absolute mess and they don't know where to click or their eyes are just drawn to multiple images or they can't read the right in the color scheme is just not sensitive to their eyes, then they're not gonna spend the time on your website and the chances are they won't be on there long enough to buy from you. Second point then, good product descriptions. Now, your ad copy is what gets people to your website or your product page, and then your product descriptions is what sells it. This is where you've got to appeal to a customer's emotional or their psychological side. You've got to make them, you've got to build a need within them to want your product in order to sell it. Point three, HQ images, high quality images. If your images are pixelated or they still have the Chinese logo of the supplier on, then it's just gonna be off putting and people are just gonna leave your website immediately. No spelling mistakes. Believe it or not, I've looked at people's websites where they've spelt things incorrectly or they've copy and pasted product descriptions from AliExpress where the English is not very good and there's been spelling mistakes. So just take some time whenever you're writing something or just make sure you check it over. Include FAQ about us and contact us pages. Now these are the pages that are gonna build the social proof on your store. If people have never seen or heard of you before, they're gonna they're gonna do background checks, they're gonna check you out, they're gonna make sure they know where you are or they can get in contact with you or they wanna know who you are before they buy from you. Trust badges then, these are brilliant little images that you can put on your site to say that you offer a secure payment or a 30 day money back guarantee. They're just a way of putting customers mind at ease and just to build that, that trust within them so they feel safe enough to buy and spend money with you. And last but not least, product reviews then, another great thing to have on your site to build that social proof. The more good reviews you can get on your site of your products, then the more likely someone is to buy from you. It just builds that social proof, it, break downs, it, break, it breaks down those barriers in a customer's mind of any doubt or any trust issues. So if they can go on your site and see that someone's been there before them, bought their product, received it, and they're happy with it, then the more likely they are to spend money with you. Moving on then, advertising and your audience or your targeting. If you're not showing it to the right people in the right places, then you're not gonna sell anything. So point one then is your platform, desktop or mobile. I always recommend split testing these, keeping your ads separate, ads specifically for desktop, ads specifically for mobile. Location wise then, where are you showing your ad to people? Is it in their main feed? Is it in the sidebar? Is it on Instagram? Gender then, make sure you're targeting the right gender for obvious reasons. If you're into makeup and cosmetics, then the chances are you're not gonna sell much of that to males. Um, age, again, make sure you're choosing the right age range. If you're selling an ebook on Snapchat, then the chances are you're not gonna sell it to many 80 year olds. So don't spend your money showing your ad to those sorts of people. Interests, now this is a very broad topic and probably worthy of a video on its own, but for the sake of this one, to keep the video short then, target interest relative to your niche. So if you're in the football niche, then you could perhaps target certain football teams or certain leagues or even certain players. Ad copy then guys, so this is what's gonna get your customer's attention. It's what your ad actually looks like. Now this is very important, especially in today's world on Facebook where you're competing with everything else that's on your customer's feed. So their friends are gonna be posting, the pages they follow and already have an interest in are gonna be posting. You're gonna be competing with other brands, other adverts, other memes, videos, images. So, which is actually point one, which is image or video. Have you tried both? If you haven't, then do a split test. 
If you don't know what a split test is, then it's basically running two separate ads with the exact the same target and exact same budget, and then after a couple of days, just comparing the numbers, what the CPC is or the click-through rate, or even how many purchases one got versus the other, just so you can you know what type of media your customer interacts with best. Point two then is your headline or the bit at the top or the bottom. Have you got a click now button or are you asking a question to get people's interest or are you telling a story that people are going to connect with and are you going to convince people that way to click on your ad? So now I realize there's a lot of information there that we've gone through all together and all of those points there are probably worthy of a video of themselves but the idea of this particular video was to put some thoughts in your mind. If if you're not making that sale, then perhaps there's things that I've spoken about here that you haven't even considered or you haven't even th thought was relevant. So that was the idea of this video then, guys. So I hope you liked it. I hope you found some value there. If you did, then make sure you hit that like button. Uh, thank you for watching. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you join the Facebook group. There'll be a link down below. There's some other links down there as well, like some free ebooks and stuff. So make sure you check them out. Um, and again, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.